Hello, my name is Miss Eva. I'm sure I've met you around the library or maybe in our virtual space. Uh, welcome, welcome. Today we are going to do some leaf rubbings together. I've just come back from my scavenger hunt in celebration of Earth Day and I found all sorts of fun things. Some leaves from different trees and some interesting objects acorns yes so we have sent out an email with the link to that uh, scavenger hunt and there is also an amazing earth day crossword puzzle done by one of our librarians extraordinaire miss lee and so check those out and without further ado i'd like to get to our leaf rubbings now with leaves you can pick all different shapes and sizes i'm going to take three different kinds from my little adventure and we're gonna look at those let's see and see how they come out once we've done our leaf rubbing you can do this with pretty much very simple supplies you need a piece of paper you could use a pencil if that's what you've got that's great you could use crayons if you've got those that's great too and then if you're uh, lucky and have pastels you can use pastels you'll get a softer look with that so you can experiment with different medium and if you're really lucky you could pull out your watercolors and use those at the end after you've done your rubbings see how that works out okay let's start with this long leaf and I'm actually going to do it from this side, from the back side. And hmm, I think I'll make it with copper. And you can see I've taken off the paper because it's a lot easier to do our leaf rubbings if we have more of the crayon part exposed. Ooh, and you'll see that as I do my leaf, really put in the work. In the center, the first thing to come up is my stem then the veining all around the stem and lastly the shape of my leaf all right that's all there is to it let's see i think i'm going to use this fun color what's it called Ooh, violet red all right we're going to do this different shape to leaf in violet red now as you're doing this you can talk about the different trees that these leaves came from. You can also talk about patterns and shapes in nature. Look at this one, it's incredible. Look at that. And let's do one more. And you can talk about how they change color. Ooh, wait, let's do this one instead. And why? So this is our last one, and I think I'm going to use blue. Very, very vibrant blue color. Let's see what they call it. Mm hmm, doesn't have a name. It's just blue. It could be neon blue. All right, and as you can see, my stem is coming in first. All of those beautiful veins are coming through. And last we do that's okay lastly we deal with the edging there we go all the way to the end oh wonderful this is just such a gorgeous leaf all right yes so now I have my three different leaves and there's my original if I had watercolors at home what I would do is do a light watercolor background and then you would see our leaves really pop. Yes. All right, that's leaf rubbings for Earth Day. I'll see you around the library or online. 